What's up, beautiful people? It's been about a month since I did my last skincare video, so let's do a daytime skincare routine. First, we're gonna start with cleansing. This is by La Roche-Posay. This is their cleansing foaming oil for dry to extra dry skin. I'm not an esthetician, not a skincare specialist, but this is what works for me. I love this cleanser, so let's go ahead, wet the face, put this on. Once the face is nice and dry, I like to go in with a serum. In the mornings, I usually use a vitamin C serum or I've been using this Peach and Lily Skin Refining Glass Skin Serum. I like this, but I don't love it. I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. It's been about a month of me testing this out and I don't feel like it's really done much to my skin. And for the first week of using it, I did have a little bit of breakouts which is fine, it's a skin refining serum, so I kind of expected it to refine my skin and pull out some of the impurities that were inside, but overall I don't feel like it has done much for my skin, so I will not be repurchasing it. I like it, but I don't love it. After the serum, I like to let that set into my skin for about 30 to 60 seconds. Then I'm going to go in with this eye gel serum from Cetaphil. It's a healthy renew eye gel serum with purified peptide. And I've been using this for about two weeks now and I really like it. It has just a really nice gel serum consistency and I do feel like it gives some sort of hydration under the eyes without it being too heavy. It's a really lightweight, moisturizing serum with peptides. So I really do like this eye cream so far. Next is going to be a product that you either love or you hate or don't care about at all. This is the COSRX Snail Mucin Essence. And I've switched up the way that I use this because I used to use this first because I learned growing up from estheticians and from other people who were into skincare that you always wanna put your essence on first. So it would go cleanser, essence, serum, eye cream, moisturizer, sunscreen. But um, some of you were telling me to change the step for this, for the snail mucin, and I was so confused. So then I started doing some more research and I learned that you wanna put products on the face by levels of viscosity. And this is like a gooey texture, so it has a little bit more of a viscosity than a serum, which is more thin and lightweight. So I've started putting all of my lightweight serums on first and then using this over top of it. And then after I let the snail mucin set into my skin for about 30 to 60 seconds, I'm going to go in with moisturizer. This is by La Roche-Posay. Again, it is their Lipocar Lotion Daily Repair Moisturizing Lotion for normal to dry skin. After moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with sunscreen. I'm gonna be honest with you, most of the time I mix my sunscreen and my moisturizer together. I'm not 100% sure if that messes with the formula or not, but it seems to work for me. But I'm going to use it separately today for the sake of this video. I'm going to apply sunscreen. Whatever I have left over, I will rub into my hands to make sure that my hands are also protected from the sun. Last step is going to be a lip balm. This is from Jack Black. It's their Intense Therapy Lip Balm in Lemon and Shea Butter, which also has SPF 20. I love this stuff. I've been using Jack Black lip balm for years. It's just so moisturizing, hydrating, and a little bit goes a long way. And it really does last for hours upon hours. So that is my skincare routine. The skin is looking nice, fresh, healthy, and ready to go for the day. Remember that this is my skincare routine and it works for me. Some of these products may work for you. Some of them may not work for you. I have normal to dry skin. I'm not a skincare specialist. I'm not an esthetician. I just wanted to share with you my skincare routine. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Sending you love always. Take care of yourself, stay hydrated, and I will see you next time. Peace.